We were shocked to learn that almost 30,000 people die every year from medical mistakes. It's a huge but hidden complication in Canada that critics say isn't getting enough attention. Those mistakes often leave victims struggling to make ends meet and going to court isn't always the remedy. CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, explains. Walking is a struggle for Anne Levac, who says a medical error ruined her life. It affected my legs, it still does. You know, they can't take the pressure anymore. There's tingling, there's numbness. Nearly seven years ago, she had injections in her spine to ease chronic back pain. But the needles were infected with bacteria that left her in hospital and disabled. Her doctor was found guilty of incompetence and disciplined by the Ontario College of Physicians and Surgeons. That's, um, that's Lyrica, so that's supposed to be for pain. for pain. Anne, meanwhile, has been left in pain and incontinent. She sued the doctor to help pay for her medical supplies, but it's been five years and Anne says it seems there are delays at every turn. I think they're waiting for me to die. Last year in Canada, over 900 new medical lawsuits were filed. And patients with medical injuries find themselves in long and costly court fights against lawyers funded by the Canadian Medical Protective Association, with an over $3 billion war chest to protect doctors at any cost. And it has virtually unlimited funds to do that, and that's why in 8 out of 10 cases, whether it's a legal case or uh, something before the professional colleges, uh, the finding is against the patients. So the deck is really stacked against them. A legal fight against an agency that's largely funded by provincial tax dollars. We are paying as taxpayers for a health care system that harms us, and the perversity of it is that we have to pay again to defend the doctors who have done the harm. Um, if, I, if that isn't perverse, I don't know what is. And that's why patient advocates want to change the system to one where those injured by medical error get automatic compensation, like they do in Denmark, France and New Zealand. Here we go. Because right now, patients say they're paying the price for medical errors themselves. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Fenland Falls, Ontario.